seriously. Seriously. Open it. A puzzle? It's a rare puzzle. Only a certified genius can solve it. I just want to make you happy! I just want us to be together! I want you to be my wife! Oh, 12.30. Okay, this party sucks. Let's go. Oh, Julio. Looking for my sister to take her home, what do I find? Some nerd with his tongue stuck down her throat. You're an idiot, Preston. Relax, guys, it's just a joke. <laughs> Believe this? No respect, mate. Just letting you know we're leaving and you're coming with us. Good, good seeing you, man. Too, man. Love the beard, man. Oh, you also get that too, man. Good seeing you, eh? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, have fun. Oh. oh. Boy! Check this out. Whoa! Anyone think you're the birthday boy with that? Yeah. What'd you uh, boys uh, think in the green, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Curse it, big ass. Bloody hell, Mark. Oh. It's like Preston has to drive home and you're getting wasted. I'll Shelby, give it a rest, Shelby. Yeah. Hey, check this out. You know what I think? You should be going home yeah. with a cool man, too. I've got a real man. No, boy? <laughs> Well, when he can't get it up, you know, he can knock on a mic or late at night. Let's get a photo of this magnanimous occasion, uh, shall we, huh? One for the yeah. Neanderthals Wall of Fame? Yeah! Well, I'll have to take it. I'm sure, the pretty right. one. Let's get this over and done with. Come on, who wrote on? Three. Good? Yeah! Yay. Awesome. Hey, you need a lift home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, I'll Cheers, catch you Randy. Pig, thanks for drinking oh, the piss. Yeah, thanks for the birthday, man. Yeah, yeah. No worries, man. Hit us up next week. Yeah. Give us a bell. Yeah. Catch hey, you, uh, Good seeing you, man. Yeah, I'll see you around, eh? Yeah, see you. Wait, what are you doing? What the hell's the matter with you? I think I should drive. Why? You've been drinking all afternoon. Relax, man. You know, no one drives this baby but me. Yeah. Come on, Mate, it's no big deal. He knows what he's doing, just get in the car. Shelby. What, someone's got to keep an eye on him. Look, let's get in the car, man. <laughs> Drive the car, dickhead. Still going to Phillip Island later? Yeah, of course we are. Pick you up the pace, man. I've got shit to organise before we go. And I'll hold you up, Emma. Preston. <laughs> Preston, slow down. Just settle down, okay? I'm not going that fast. Preston, watch out!
Where have you been? Why didn't you call? What's he doing here? He's having dinner with us. What, every bloody week at defective school and now you're bringing him here? Defective school? It's a support group, Jared, and it's there for you and your friends. Anytime, day or night. But this isn't about you. You can't be serious. Jared. I know this is strange. It's not strange, it's disgusting. Indulge thyself not in the passion of anger. It is wetting a sword to wound thine own breast. Or murder thy friend. on the door as soon as your mum got home. He's such a tool and she can't even see it. Okay. Good night, Tommy. He's gone. So what are we watching? Sandman. Sandman, it's ancient. Come on, it's a classic 70s horror. Not so much horror, but horrible. Sandman fan side. Remind me why we're awake so early. I've got work at 11. What time is it now? 8.15 a.m. <laughs> Did you see the flickering on the movie last night? Are you serious? I was asleep before the opening credits finished. One of the victims. I've seen that movie like a hundred times now. And I've never noticed it before. Noticed what? She looked like one of the ambos from... <coughs> one of the ambos? 
Panthers from the accident. <laughs> you gotta lay off the booze. You think it's a bad disc? Lucky they don't charge employees to hire them. Otherwise I'd be asking for my money back. So you're back on the weights? Yeah, well, it's pretty much the only thing I can do these days without hurting myself. <sighs> I got some pretty good news. No, it's cool. Yeah, what sort of good news? I got a university placement. Western Australia. Western Australia? What about your sentence? Suspended, remember? As long as I report in, I'm, I'm free to go. It's fantastic. Man, you were the only one who believed in me. No one else did. Not my parents, not even Shelby, no one, just you. So when do you go? Next week. Next week. Coming to my farewell party, right? Yeah. I'll be there. Can't let you go without saying goodbye. You knew, didn't you? What do you want me to say? Why didn't he tell me? Because he didn't want to hurt you. You should be happy for him. Why? Because he's your friend. It should be me going away! Me going to college! And I will enter in the fucking name again! Well then it's an opportunity, isn't it? To make new plans. New dreams. guy's a tool. A tool? Why? Because he's educated, sophisticated, well-mannered? How many is that today? I don't know, five or six. I think you've got a problem. What, apart with the fact that I'm a retard? Stop that! We're in this together, okay? And we should let Gavin help us, because God knows I don't think I can do this alone! million dollar blaze which is believed to have been started by arsenic. A full investigation into the inquiry is expected to take several months. A gang of five youths have caused havoc in the CBD overnight. Surveillance footage has shown the youth vandalizing property and damaging stores and windows. During the escapade, a shop assistant was critically injured. Police have detained three subjects who are assisting them with their inquiry. In Melbourne overnight, a woman was found bludgeoned to death in her Coburg home when an intruder broke in through a downstairs window. The 34-year-old ambulance officer was believed to be alone in the house.
That's her. Who? Police are appealing to the public for any assistance with their inquiries. Anyone with information is urged to call Crime Stoppers immediately. Know who that is? This has been Rachel Jones. She did it our accident. Why would anyone want to do that to her? No. Doesn't matter anyway. Nothing we can do. So what time do you start work? 2.30. What's with him? Thought you gave him the arse. Yeah, I did, but you know, he's, uh, he's like a leech. Never lets go, eh? Oh man, that rehab. It's been money well spent. You just gotta get that ugly scar you got there, man, fixed. Oh, leave him alone, Marcus. Man, you're thinking it! Lee's got the balls to say it! Oi, calm the fuck down, alright? Shit. You guys hear about that woman on the news? There's a lot of people on the news. The ambulance driver. When you got her brains bashed in, you know who she was, right? What about her, man? What they didn't say on the news is that her left eye was mutilated in its socket. <laughs> Mutilated? Yeah, Ryan told me. Your cop brother, huh? He was first on the scene when the husband came home. What does he think happened? Well, he thinks he caught the wife banging some other bloke. So he offed her, made it look like a break-in. And what's with the eye? Secrets and lies, my friend. Everyone's got something they want to take to the grave, right? You love that cloak and dagger shit, don't you, hey? Oh, what, and you don't? Oh, man. What's the time? Quarter the two, man. I'm gonna rock and roll. I'll meet you at your place. Yeah. Hey. You getting that, man? Is it registering? I bet you got that. Catch ya. See ya, man. Come on. I'll walk you to work. Where's your stick? Not using it anymore. What, so you'd just rather crash into things? What are you, my mother? You want me to hold your hand? What about Preston? He invite you to his farewell thing? Yeah. You going? Yeah. I'm leaving now. I won't be too late. Where are you going? I told you this morning. I'm going out with Gavin. Your dinner's on the bench. Say something. Have a good time, Donna. Okay, my pick. 
On second thoughts, let's go for a change. Do something different. You never want to go out. Oh, come on, are you afraid you're going to see something different? Well, you're not. It happened once. It's not going to happen again. It was a coincidence. Come on. A hybrid. A cross between human and rat. Crowning achievement in my career. Oh, you're insane. Genius. Insanity. It's all the same. Egon, the box. You're still up. Bernard! What, what, what is that? What are you going to do? It's a subject to hold this in my laboratory. Are you going to use that? What? No one turning me into a rat! What do you know about rats, Mr. Maynard? They're quite fascinating creatures. When they're frightened or feel threatened, they will stop at nothing to escape the danger. Does it make you pay for this blood, Snyder? That's the last thing I do. Ciao. The visions is really getting to you, isn't it? Last time it happened, a woman died. Yeah, you know that's just a coincidence. It doesn't mean anything's going to happen to Darren. I still have to tell him. What are you going to say? Uh, I, I, I saw you get tortured by rats last night on TV. Sounds pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, it does. You're going to tell him anyway, aren't you? Jared, what's up, man? Darren, I need to see you. Sam serious, what's up? I saw something last night. So what? Oh, I'd rather tell you in person. Ah, oh, man, it's going to have to wait till tomorrow. If I'm late one more time, the boss is going to take to me with a kitchen knife. Well, I'll come past your work and see you. Man, you know I work in a restaurant. It's not the kind of place I can stop and have a chat. I'll call you tomorrow. I saw you getting eaten by rats. <laughs> rats? That's a new one. Man, listen, I will call you tomorrow, alright? And, uh, what are you smoking? Wanna save me some? Sounds like good shit. Shit! Rats? You know, the doctor said working with puzzles is going to help you create new neural pathways. The doctor's full of shit. Six months ago I could get it so easy, now it just... just drives me crazy. I'm going to see Darren after work.
You're only gonna piss him off. Your mom's home. Hey, Donna. Hi. Want to give me a hand? Can you clean up that mess in the lounge room? What, now? Yes, now. No, don't tell me. Gavin's coming. Lee saw him last night. I didn't. I'm seeing him again tonight. Jared! Why do you do this? Why do you always walk away? Donna, it's... Why do you always invite strangers into our house? Strangers? Jared, just... Shut up, Shelby! Look, Gavin's not a stranger. He's worried about you. He gets paid to worry about me. He gets paid to listen to you. The worrying he does for free. Oh, don't do this to me, Jared. I work my ass off to keep a roof over our heads. I'm entitled to a life. You had a life, remember? With Dad. That's right. We had a life, Jared. Until I found him in bed with another woman. Ask him about it sometime. And don't forget to clean up that mess in the lounge room. News. Whatever. You're not the least bit upset by that? Yeah, you've called Darren's phone. I don't want to talk to you at the moment, but you want to talk to me. Where are you going? Out. What do you mean out? Where are you going? We won't go long. What time will you be back? <sighs> Oi, who's there? Entrance is around the front, mate. Jared? What the fuck are you doing here? Just came to check if you're alright. I'm fine, why wouldn't I be? I'm gonna wait around the front until you finish and we'll leave together. Mate, I'm gonna be here another two hours. Go home, I'll call you tomorrow, alright? Darren. Mate, what is your fucking problem? Go home before I knock you fuck out and leave you with the rats. It a lot of money, you know. Do you think it's a bit late for a refund? Remember what the doctor said? How can I forget? And your mum keep harping on about it. Let's give it time. You don't get it, do you? Things around here are never going to be the same. I'm never going to be the same. The sooner you and Mum get over it, the sooner we can all move on. You didn't. Darren thought you were full of shit, didn't he? You're so sick of everyone thinking that you're a joke. I don't get why you still want to hang around with me. I want to hang around with you. Because I love I know.
Mum, do you mind? Ryan, what's going on? It's Darren, love. It's been in an accident. What? Yeah, we are. Uh, we found his body this morning behind Vertigo. Fuck, I knew it. I tried to warn him. Warn him? About what, mate? Well, I was watching the DVDs the other day and I had visions. Don't, don't call me crazy. And I saw, saw things happen. Yeah, no worries, mate. I'll, um, I'll uh, let you know about the funeral arrangements. I knew it. I should have stayed with him. I should have taken him home. If you stayed with him, you would have been dead as well. Then what would that have mattered? How can you say that? I should have done something. You did do something. He just didn't listen. God, stop blaming yourself. Hey, um, I think this is a bad idea. We were friends, weren't we? Bastard who did this? We got a few leads, but nothing concrete. But we'll get him. Wow, if it isn't lame brain himself. Uh, 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 I'm a red car. Can you believe this guy? Not now, Marcus, alright? You got a little nerve coming here drunk, haven't you? Take it easy, guys, hey? I'm easy. Hey, just. I'm easy. My way out, huh? Yeah, it's Stay been out. a tough week, man. Do you think you're better than everyone else? Hmm? Because let me tell you something. Now Darren's gone. You got no one. Now fuck off, ticket. Let's go, man! Hey, get out! You get out! <sighs> I think it's time you pushed off, mate. I just can't pay my respects, man. Yeah, I know you did. It means a lot. Get you home safe, huh? Ryan. You take that, I'll take your fucking life. I thought I told you to fuck off. Sorry doesn't cut it. You're a useless, drug addict, piece of shit! Did you know that? Mm. Marcus, you need to leave. Yep. You heard her. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I hope you gave the other kid a good walloping. The old wire magic. <laughs> I'm the laughing stock of the whole northern suburbs. 
that one you were before. Sorry, mate, that didn't uh, come out quite the way I meant it. So, uh, when are you going to stop skirting around and tell me why you're really here? Did you do the dirty on Mum? She told you, eh? So it's true. Of that. Crime's out of control in this country. Bloody government should be shot. I think someone's got it in for us. What? I think someone's got it in for us. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> so you don't think it's weird? The Ambo driver and now Darren. I think it's a coincidence. Bloody shitty one. That's about it. So you don't think it's anything I should be worried about? No, I don't think so. What's that, uh... Counselor or you always say about it? The guy's a fuckhead. Don't be too good to judge. Must have some smarts if he's a head doctor. <laughs> the only smart thing he's done is go out with Mum. Go out with Mum? Yeah, he's Mum's new boyfriend. He cheated on her. You gonna watch a movie? Yeah, well, tell me where I can find out who the girl in the is. And you wanna know who he is? Why? Tell me I'm gonna stop him. You gonna stop him? Mr. Jazzo, you know what to do. I got it. This madness will not go unpunished. This madness is just the beginning. Possesses dominance over the entire universe. Why didn't you wake me? Are you serious? Your soul said it was like you were dead. I know that look. It's not a good look. Get your jacket. 
the middle of the night. Well, then I'll go without you. Where are we going? Is Marcus home? No, he's not. After that little stunt you two pulled today, he's gone away for a while to clear his head. Where'd he go? I need to speak to him. I don't want you anywhere near him. Do you understand? You should go away too. I'm not talking about a holiday. Well, that's the end of that. No, it isn't. What are you talking about? He's gone to his grandma's. How do you know that? That's where he goes when he's scared. Well, do you know where she lives? No. Do you know her name? Nana, grandma, Mrs. something. Are you serious? It's a small town. How hard can it be? Marcus, where are you? Jared, my dad just told me you've been around my fucking place. Marcus, something bad's gonna happen. Something bad's gonna happen to you, man, if you don't cut this shit out, you little freak. Marcus! Listen to me! Someone is out to get you like Darren. Jared, listen to me, you fucking fruitcake. You stay away from my dad. You don't come fucking near me, okay? Get that through your fucking head. Marcus! Toby's called in sick. They want you to cover his shift at work this morning. Is there a problem? No. I just want my DVDs anyway. He's on his way. And she's still mad. You think? And don't forget you've got group tonight. Gavin's looking forward to seeing you. Oh, why not? It just gets better and better, doesn't it? See you later. I have to call Marcus again. Shit. How's work? Roger's getting pissed off with me. Why? Because I can't read, and it makes me pretty much useless. How did she get hold of Marcus? What are you going to do? Keep ringing him. We should probably go, it's getting late. Probably should go before <laughs> Mum gets into one of her moods. Made good time. Cut the crap, Jared. I know you didn't go. Yes, Jared. Tell your mother why you haven't been for the last six weeks. Six weeks? It's none of your business. None of my business? As long as you live in my house, it bloody well is my business. What is wrong with you? Why aren't you going to group? Don't you want to get better? Mentally defected, Mum. That's it. End of story. Stop that. Why can't you live with it? I can. Look. You need these sessions. You are going to get better. You need to stop kidding yourself. Jared, look, come in tomorrow. I'll schedule a special session. One on one. Just the two of us. Oh, fuck you and your stupid group. Don't you want this? What does it matter what I want? What's that supposed to mean? Well, as long as you've got that tosser to get your rocks up, you don't give a fuck about me. When have I ever not been there for you? Well, how about now, for instance? I want my good boy back. Ugh. Yeah, we both know that's never going to happen.
Your mother's still upset about last night. But you should have kept your mouth shut, shouldn't you? Well, that would have been lying now. Wouldn't it? decision and you've sentenced her to her life where she'll never be rid of you that's why you're lucky I'm here and I'm gonna be around for a long long time <laughs> well, who does he think he is coming in like he owns the place pretends like he cares this guy on the news Seymour, it's... Do you think it's Marcus? I knew I should have done something. I knew I should have gone to find him. We don't know for certain that it's him. I'm going back to see his dad. What are you doing? I'm coming with you. No, you're not. Go home for a while, I'll come past and pick her up later. What if he's... Go home! You don't want to give yourself indigestion. <laughs> well, this is nice, don't you think? It's right for a roast. I meant us. Like this. Like a family. Well. That's me done. Great meal, love. Even if it was a little overcooked. So. What's for dessert? Uh, I think there's some ice cream in the fridge. Sounds good. I've got an early start in the morning. How about I put the movie on now? A movie? Your mother and I hired a DVD. We thought we could all watch it together. Unless, of course, you have other plans. So, what was all that about this afternoon? I'm going to tell you something about me, Jared. It'll make things easier as we build our relationship. Relationship? I always get what I want, Jared. You understand? Always. Perfect end to a perfect meal. Okay. Here we go.
It's been a long time, Father. I certain you're up for this. A younger man, perhaps. I appreciate your concern, Father. But let me remind you that the enemy thrives on weak. I know you're out there! See Gavin. Gavin? What for? The movie last night. It was Gavin. Look, we gotta do something. When did you become such a fan? Well, Gavin's a prick, but your mum, this is gonna. it's gonna crush her. I know. So, what are you gonna do? I mean. You can't just go over there and say, hey, I saw you get off last night when we were watching TV. Maybe I can say that I've had a change of heart. That I want Mum to be happy. He's not going to buy that. He only thinks you're a nutcase as it is. Something else, isn't there? Kill spoke to me. Um, spoke to you? I know who's next after Gavin. Who? It's you, isn't it? Me? This is bullshit, Jared. This is bullshit. We gotta go find Ryan. Ryan? Yeah, you know what? He's a cop. He will, he'll tell us what to do. What, and after what happened, you think he's gonna help us? I can't lose you. I can't. I don't know what he wants or why he's doing this. I don't. I don't understand it. it. Makes two of us. Mum? Mum? Mum, are you okay? It looks worse than it is. Oh, I had the worst feeling. Cold. Like... 
someone had walked over my grave. Oh, oh dear. I've made a mess of everything. <laughs> It's only dinner. Oh. Oh. Who could that be? Hey, Ryan, we were just talking about you. This looks serious. I need to ask you a few questions. you mind if I come in? What happened to your hand? It seems I'm in danger with a knife. Not too serious, I hope. I need to know where you were the night Marx was killed. What do you need to know that for? Yeah, it's all right, Mum. This is routine, Mrs. Dwyer. Nothing to worry about. I was here. All night? Yeah. Is that right, Mrs. Dwyer? Can you confirm that? He can barely get out the front door. How do you think he'd ever make it to Seymour? Enough of this conversation. Mum. One of Marx's eyes was mutilated, just like the ambulance driver and Darren. Who's doing this? I don't know, mate. But here's my card. You can call me any time you like, 24-7, okay? Do you think he's in danger? I'll see myself out. Tell him about Gavin. Tell him. Ryan. Yes, Jared. Um. Sorry about Mum today. She was a bit out of sorts. Yeah, better see that cut. Who was that? Why don't you tell Ryan about Gavin? Who's gonna believe the mental give me the visions? Are you serious? You know this guy is coming for you. He wants you dead. He wants all of us dead. You have to do something! I know! Roger. Yeah, well, we had a few things going on here, that's all. Yeah, well, I don't care if you don't believe me. Yeah, well, they're important. Oh, well, fuck you and your stupid job anyway. Asshole. Here's something I haven't seen in a while. Tastes foul. Destroys your lungs. Bloody hell it's good. What happened to you? Ran into a wall. I know you didn't like him. But he was a good man. At least to me he was. 
I didn't tell you this. But he asked me to marry him. And what did you say? I have to talk to you first. Hello? Who's that? Sorry to interrupt you there, I am. Um, did knock around the front. I kind of figured you'd forget. How are you, love? Long time no see. Yeah, good. Forget what? The chairs. Remember you said I could borrow them. How long till you go now, Preston? Uh, not long. A couple of days. I'll leave straight after the party. Well, we know you'll do great. Yeah, thanks. Everything okay? Yeah. Nah, it's cool. What's going on? You two fighting again? I mean, your mum seems really upset. It's because Gavin's dead. Are you joking? Dead. That's Dan. Marcus and now Gavin. What happened? He was attacked in his driveway. You're lucky you're getting out of here. You've never told your mum, have you? How could I? You should have hacked that bastard's stick off with a razor blade, you know that? You didn't tell anybody, did you? No, you can trust me. But if he hit on me the way he hit on you? Are you ashamed of me? Do you remember special occasions? Birthdays? Parties? Yeah, of course. Why? I know I'm a gold medalist. I know because it says so on every trophy and medal in my room, but I don't know how I got them or where I got them. What I really want to remember is the day I asked Shelby out, and I can't remember that either. And I want to remember that. Yeah, look, um, I really should get the chairs and get going. Yeah. Uh, I'll go. No, at the back. They're hard to get. No, it's fine. I can just get them. I'll get Mum to bring them over later. Don't you think it's a bit much on your mum? I mean, I'm here now. Problem solved. She can bring them over tomorrow, all right? Preston? Yeah? Your dad's on the phone. Sorry? Your dad's on the phone. He needs you to come home now. Oh. Okay, tell him I'll be right there. You bring the chairs around tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. What time are you working tonight? I'm not. What do you want, Trevor? Just heard about your boyfriend and came by to say how sorry I am. How dare you? What are you talking about? Oh, look at you. You can barely stand up. Mr. Smooth, turning on the charm, pretending to feel sorry for me. I'm not pretending. I'm... I don't know what game you're playing, but if you think you're going to worm your way back in here, you're wrong. Now piss off. What? You heard me.
partir de ese ánimo. How's the funeral? It was nice. Simple. I'm glad it's all over. Jared. I love you. No. Jared, he said you were next. I know. You have to find out why he's doing this and what he wants. I can't. I, I can't think like I did before. I can't think like I used to. If you don't figure it out, he's going to kill you. You are going to die. Yourself. So, uh, how's your mother? Did you ever hit her? I never hit her. Did you ever hurt her? Did you wake up from a dream about to hit her? Plenty of times I wanted to. No, I never hit her, ever. Where'd he go? Hey, son. Don't end up like me, mate. Find a nice girl. Sit down. I've already got a nice girl, remember? Yeah? Hey. Huh? Shelby. I can't believe the nerve of that prick. Prick's your father. What, you're sticking up for him after what he said about you? seen me in ages, you know, 
probably forgot about me. How could he forget about you? <laughs> you have to say that. You're my boyfriend. I don't want to be your boyfriend anymore. serious about anything in my life. Jared! Oh, what now? Well, you look like you can read. I'm sorry? Oh, no, I'm not saying anything. I'm from... It's all the noise. Oh, for God's sake, Jared, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. I've been out all day busting my game. <coughs> uh, ma'am. Oh, do something with this, would you? Dwayne Walters, Youth Counselor. They've replaced Gav already? Uh, Ma'am, I don't know any Gav. I don't know who you are, but I've had enough counselling. No, oh, wait. Leading in. What? Now, I understand that you've stopped attending support group. That's a shame, but uh, I'm sure you got your reasons why. Get on with it or get out. Jared. Or in your file that you'd been accepted into Melbourne University. Bioengineering systems. Smart kid. Yeah, once. How would you like to go back to school? Now, I don't want you to be unrealistic, but... Might be able to find something suitable for you. The curriculum's designed for people with special needs. Now get them out of your hair a couple of hours a week. Yeah, we can stick your special needs. I've got a plan. A plan? Well, that's encouraging. Let's hear it. Well, if I work on things a little bit at a time, I might get back to normal again. Let's, uh... Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Look at this. Six months ago, I couldn't get it to this point. And now I can get it to here. That's interesting, Jared, but ultimately that doesn't mean anything.
brain's a complex organ. The damage is to what yours is irreversible. Permanent. Mentally disabled. How can I do it? You're full of shit. Fuck you and your stupid group, and fuck you for letting fuck with like him in here. Uh, maybe when he calms down, we can continue. <laughs> you need to leave, Mr. Walters. And no one drives this baby. Yeah, he's doing just get the car. Get the car, man. Oh, Jesus! Preston, slow down. Preston, watch out! Take that. Take your fucking life. I want my good boy back. You're an owl. Millstone, Millstone. your mother's mother. You're next. Jesus! I thought it was him! Jerk! Call an ambulance! I thought it was him coming from me! Jerk! Focus! Call a fucking ambulance! Mum, I didn't know it was you! Mum! Don't do this! I need you! Mum! What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go see Preston. Deep breaths. Everything's changed. Just because you haven't been here in a while. And as long as he's okay, we'll, we'll go back and we'll go be with Dunn. Didn't expect to see you here. Bit jumpy, aren't you, retard? Fuck off. Ooh, listen to the tough guy. What are you gonna do? What's going on? Nothing. It's all good, mate. I'll see you later. Is it Jared? All good? Yeah. No, it's at home, Mum. She... It's alright, mate. You can tell me. What's wrong? Jared? It is you. Where have you been? We haven't seen you in ages. God. It's good to see you. How's things at 
home. Good. Hey, Jerry. Put up with Preston? He'd be glad to see you. Okay, well, uh, make yourself at home and make sure you have something to eat. So, what's going on with these murders? Got any suspects? Yeah, yeah, we've got one. Um, we just wait on confirmation from the forensics. I still can't believe Shelby's dead. And Preston's off to university. It's been a strange year. Preston's doing well for someone who's just called his sister. Maybe. Don't be so... What, truthful? Shelby! Where are you? Those women... Where are you? Yeah. Let's get out of here. Go. Hey. Thanks for coming, man. Are you okay? What are you doing? This is for Shelby.
hope it's just not memory then. All that matters is that we've got each other now. Get you all the help you need, I promise. Jared, no! 